is it, folks. This is what it's all about. One game. There's no tomorrow. This is for the whole Magilla. The whole Ball of Wax. The whole Kit and Caboodle. The whole Enchilada. The whole Shoot and Mash. This is for all the marbles. It's moving in overtime. Don't forget, no one knows kind of Danny and JD guys. It's Mustang overtime. So, Dad, as a coach, what would you say are your most memorable last-second shots? Besides Matthew Baker's this year, that was a pretty fun one. Absolutely. Um, to go to the way back, my first year coaching. Okay. So, 2002. 2002. Jason Berkey. Oh, yes. I've heard many stories. The Jason. shot. The shot. Okay. Regionals. First game, the morning game of regionals. Jason hit a three pointer at the buzzer to win the game for us. That's insane. That was pretty incredible. That's insane. Absolutely. The next one I would say is uh, Cody Nelson against Hanover Central. I believe it's 2013. Um, the year Hanover was going to be leaving the conference, they had the keg, okay. so it was a big deal. We didn't want them to, you know, leave the conference and not that they take the keg, but to just even have it at the end of the season. Yeah, absolutely. And so Cody Nelson, it's a game-winning jumper on the baseline uh, to win that game. Wow. Awesome. It was crazy really fun. Absolutely, that sounds awesome. My most memorable one. 2019 PCC Championship game. Oh, yes. Badger to Zach Nam for the three. Oh, yeah. That was, that was insane. We got a special guest here on the show. His name's Jalen. So Jalen, who are your favorite players of the Mustangs? Chemical. Who would you say is the best trainer of the Mustangs? Chemical. So what do you like most about the Mustangs? Chemical. It's <laughs> killing it. Hey, you killed it. Nice. <laughs> We're at Wireman. 
Bro, Warren, that's great. It's really yeah. good. He was one of the yeah, He's pretty, pretty cool. He was okay, yeah. but not like all the younger brothers I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Stewart. Matt Stewart. He's a good one. As a kid growing up, who was your favorite Mustang to watch? Um, well, I actually didn't grow up in the house. I grew up in Hebron, so... Okay, who was your favorite person to watch? Um, probably Carson Rusky. Carson Rusky? Alright. I would have to say Jared Berkey. Jared Berkey, yeah. nice. Uh, Cole Van Dyke. Cole Because <laughs> my mom knew his mom and yeah. he was pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, he was. He, he was. was pretty cool guy. Yeah. My favorite Mustang, I don't really know him that well, but I know Dylan Bruce because when I was younger, I wanted to have caps that big. So. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Mustang. Favorite Mustang growing up? Yeah. Uh, I like Dylan Mathis. Dylan Mathis. Yep. He was a good one. Alright, let's see who else is in here. Who else is in here? Well, in middle school it's Connor. Connor? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Definitely Connor. Okay. Matt Stewart. Because he, he Stewart. was really big and I that was just really weird when I was that little and he was yeah. that tall. Yeah. Then he coached us in middle school. Who was your favorite teacher growing up? Uh, Miss Berkey. She's definitely, definitely my favorite teacher all, all time. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, it's, it's just really, really good woman. Yes, good yes, woman. yes, yes, yes. Um, Miss Berkey. Miss Berkey. Yeah, she's my teacher right now. She's either a freshman year, she would think, or sophomore year. She definitely, uh, me and her think a lot alike. You know, very, uh, yeah. very good woman. One of my favorites. Probably, but definitely my favorite teacher ever. Yes. I'll have to go with a tie on that one. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Paluch in third grade. Uh -huh. She moved the year after that, so some kids might not know her. Yeah. And then Mrs. Markley. So Mrs. Markley. Shout out to those two teachers. Yeah. Um, probably Miss Markley. Miss Markley. Yeah, My sister cool. had her. My really? Sister had her. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Miss Julie Miller. Miss Julie Miller. I had Miss Miller for fourth grade as well, so she was awesome. Probably Mrs. Heinold. Mrs. Heinold, yeah, first okay. grade. Nice. Um, I'll go with Mr. Smith in the Mr. middle school. Mr. Smith, yeah. he's yes. Not, he's very energetic, very fun. Mm -hmm. He's uh, one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. Miss Eichelberger in second grade. Eichelberger, I had her too. Yeah, all we did was crafts, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Spagna. Miss Spagna. She like she left. She just left when when I got to her grade. So oh, that was a real shame. She's yeah. a good teacher. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Um, I like Mr. Craig, third grade. Probably Miss Stahl. Miss Stahl. Yeah. I'd say um, probably. Rocky, I like Rocky against a Russian. Yeah. And I like Rocky against uh, Mr. T. Nice. Those nice. are my, those are definitely the top ones. Star Wars: Return of the Jedi. Nice. I like. That's my favorite Star Wars. Movie. Probably Cars. I like Cars. cars? Yeah. I like Cars too. That was one. That was probably my favorite drawing up as well. Or Toy Story. Yeah. Also good. One. Yeah. Oh, Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year. Yeah, That's like a good that one. one. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, yeah. 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 
probably the SpongeBob movie. The SpongeBob movies? Yeah. I've never watched SpongeBob before, so I don't know how it is. SpongeBob movie. So. My favorite character is Patrick. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> I'd have to go Small Soldiers. It's some movie about like I don't know if everyone's watched it. It's like a yeah. lesser known movie, but it's like these like toys, like toy creatures against toy army men. It's a pretty cool oh. movie. I suggest everyone if you haven't seen it, watch it. All right. Okay. Everyone out there, watch okay. it. I'll, I'll definitely watch all right. that. All right. Favorite movie? I don't really watch any movies. Really? But probably like a Scooby Doo movie. Scooby Doo. Yeah, we used to watch those on the way to vacations. Probably the best. What's your favorite movie? Hmm. Well, it's not really a movie. I mean, it's more like my dad had some highlight tapes of him when he was like. Fourth grade, you know, hustling, get loose balls. Yes, absolutely. And that was probably my favorite thing to watch. You know, I yeah. watched on a repeat because, I mean, that's where I get it from. Yeah. And that's where I get my talent from. Yeah. So yeah. That's probably my favorite thing to watch as a kid. That's all I watched. He was really good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was good. I mean, I would I'd compare him to like uh, Steve Nash, Scotty Pippen in the middle. I mean, he's really okay. athletic, but yeah. he, he was a gender. So, okay. I mean, that took away from his playing ability a little bit, but I mean, he's a pretty good player. He's like Nico. Okay. He's, yeah, he's like Nico. <laughs> Uh, probably bench warmers. Bench warmers? Yeah, I still watch it. <laughs> nice. So in, uh, in fourth grade, when I went to KV with Jeremy, mm -hmm. we didn't really know each other, but I remember him because uh, we had a race uh, yeah. with the whole grade. And um, of course, you know, I won the half mile. Kale and Brent yeah. won yeah. the mile for there. And there's one kid, and I remember named Jeremy Ryan, who started off faster than everybody else. And about after 100 meters, died off and finished like sixth place. Oh, nice. While I ended up getting first, he got beat by like four, I think, four girls. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, that's my favorite one. All right, thank you so much. And thank you. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Ryan, uh, we were in, uh, we were at KB, and yes. uh, I remember there was a half mile race where Cole was racing, and it was like the whole grade, whoever won the race. Yeah. And I remember there was this one kid who took off, and I, I was over there, I was thinking, what an idiot, you know? <laughs> he took off for a half mile race in a dead sprint. Like, yeah. it's not the 100 meter. Yeah. And after, actually, about after 100 meters, he died out. <laughs> and uh, he finished sixth place, I'm pretty sure, behind like four girls. So, <laughs> yeah. And then, come to find out, he was also running the mile. Oh, and okay. So he did the same thing, took off about the first hundred meters, and after that, I was left in the dust. And I'm pretty sure he got beat by like eight or ten girls that race. He finished like 30th. So, 30th? Yeah, like... that's that's how I remember Jeremy Ryan, actually. So, yeah, that's pretty impressive right there. Yeah, I mean, Jeremy's so really doing the same guy. I mean, he starts off fast and just dies out. And, yeah. I mean, except for his basketball career, I mean, yeah. he just started <laughs> off fast, just keeps getting better and better and better, and I don't think he'll ever die out. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. League balance. <laughs> Right here. Thank you so much. Yep. What is your favorite childhood memory of one of your teammates? Um, well, fourth grade, uh, Cole and Kale and I, we were in a race, a mile race, and they started out fast. Like, I, they were so fast, and I was like, there's no way. And then, of course, they died out. And yeah. uh, then we get around the corner, I just pass them, and then I'm like, uh, I look behind me, and they're they're gone. They're they're gone. In my they're eating my dust. <laughs> and so then I finished racing first. Cole got like six, and Kale probably I think he got ninth. Who, who was Cole behind a bunch of girls or? Uh... Yeah, he he was behind a bunch of girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you so much. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Probably Parker. It was last year though, okay. and uh, we were at school, and uh, some some girl just w walked up to him, kissed kissed him right on the forehead, and just let it happen. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's that sounds really weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Probably when Cole and Kale made all those videos as kids. Have you seen those? I haven't seen those. They're funny. You should look them up. Okay. Okay. What's what's the channel name? It's Bella and the Bulldogs. It's <laughs> okay. funny. Okay. I'll look it up. Yeah. Thank you. No problem.
And last question. <clears throat> While growing up, what was your favorite childhood memory with your teammates? Um, so in gym class, I had gym with Matthew. Yeah. And uh, he wasn't paying attention and we were playing like, I don't know, like, I don't know what we were playing, but so, <laughs> oh yeah, we were playing like kickball and he was running. And then Amelia Ash, she's in my grade, and yeah. they collide, and Matthew wasn't paying attention, so he gets like knocked out. I'm trying to wake him up, because he's like not waking up, and he finally wakes up and he goes, what happened? <laughs> and he's so confused. Okay, so in elementary, we would play football, okay. and so someone threw a pass to Joe, I don't remember what it was, and he had a wide open field and was running down the side for a touchdown. Okay. And some girl comes out of nowhere, does a cartwheel, and knocks him out. <laughs> and everyone runs over there, and he like comes back to it while we're all standing over him. So the girl did a cartwheel, saved the touchdown, and knocked him out at the same time. Wow. Wow, that's funny. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Connor was um, in class and he, the teacher left the room. Okay. I'll just say the teacher because she knows it happened. Miss Perkins, yep. she left the room and Connor goes to her computer and he goes on her computer. Uh oh, you might get in trouble with the school. I don't know. He goes on her computer, looks up some like Fortnite YouTuber thing, and this like loud music starts playing. She walks back in the room and she's like, Connor, is this you? And so it was super funny because we're all dying laughing. He's like yeah. running back to the desk so he doesn't get caught. It was that's, really funny. That's really funny. That sounds really fun. What is your favorite childhood memory of one of your teammates? Childhood memory? Uh, so when we were younger, me and Hunter and Parker were out on my rug, and uh -huh. there was a dead raccoon. So we picked up sticks and Parker yelled that we were playing raccoon golf and we just started beating it. That's fun. It was kind of stupid now that we look at it. Yeah. It's fun. Alright, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. I have two about Parker actually. Uh, the first one was middle school basketball. We were playing at Washington Township up in their small gym. Okay. And he went to shoot a three pointer. <laughs> And he hit the ceiling. <laughs> now he'll say it like, got blocked, but like, there's no way he got blocked. <laughs> okay. Um, the second one, he went and he asked some girl to homecoming. He like, did? at school, like in the hallway, and okay. everyone clapped when he did it. And then they went to homecoming and they slow danced the entire time. Wow. Even when there was like a fast song. It was funny. <laughs> Favorite childhood memories when me and Colton were riding uh, side by sides. We had this idea to cross like a ditch, and then he got stuck and had to go pull him out. And when I went to get the uh, strap, his dad's like, "Somebody's stuck." I'm like, "No, we just need this." <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. Thank you. Um, probably when I got invited to Matthew's birthday's birthday party, we were in his pool and he was throwing pool toys. Yeah. And he threw one and it hit me like right here in the eye. Yeah. Almost had to get stitches. Oh wow, was that bad? Yeah. Wow, that sounds very painful. It was. Alright, thank you. Childhood memory with one of your teammates. It has to be when Japheth fell all the way down my stairs because he tripped over my dog. <laughs> wow, that's that sounds really embarrassing. Yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Probably Reese's. Reese's always been my favorite. That's, That's my good. favorite really? too. These, yeah, those you are can't go best. wrong. Dude. You can't go wrong with those, yeah. Uh, favorite candy? Uh, growing up, it's probably Butterfingers. Butterfingers? Can't go wrong with the Butterfinger. I like those commercials. Though. That's tough. That's between Snickers or Reese's. Snickers or Reese's? Reese's, Reese's is my personal favorite. Those are good. It's also Cooper's personal favorite, so can't go wrong with yes. those. Can't go wrong. Favorite candy? Reese's. Reese's? That's my favorite too. That's, that's, that's the way to go. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, Hershey. Hershey's? Yeah, I love chocolate. You like chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> I also like chocolate. My personal favorite is Reese's, so. Reese's, that's, that's good. Yeah, that's my yeah, pride, yeah. my second. Cool. My favorite candy. Mm -hmm. I like Kit Kats. Kit Kats? That's a good one. That's a good one. I like Kit Kats. Uh, Skittles. Skittles? Okay. Skittles. Skittles. Colton loves Skittles, too. Yeah. Yeah. M&M's, just plain M&M's. Plain M&M's? Yep. I heard that you like to have those in your lunch all the time. Yeah, I do. Uh, I think it's Starburst. Starburst? It's still my favorite candy. Nice. As a child, what was your favorite candy? Um, you know, it's a hard one. Uh, 
my favorite thing to eat was probably the enemy's tears after I wiped the floor home. Nice. Uh, that's pretty much all I did as a child, you know. I just I, I killed everyone I played, and that's all I ate. I, that was my candy, you know. That's what <laughs> yeah. I like to eat. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so we're going to be doing a team building exercise with everybody in here. And we're going to be doing top five candies. So everyone's got to agree. So. There you go. Top five list. Let's go. Shut up! Oh, oh, Twix is
actually. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Let's go, oh, man. Hey, 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 he's blowing. Come on. Hey, 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 Mustang Nation, I'm here in Indianapolis, the capital of Indiana. And you know what I'm here for? I'm here for Couch Christmas, obviously, because we're going to state, okay? Okay, we're going to state. And so I just wanna give a quick, uh, I don't know. Trade secret? Yeah, trade secret, yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, this right here. When I press this button, you'll hear the joy of people. What is that, Justin? It's the sound of the Mustang train. Every time the Mustangs do something good, I'm gonna press this button, okay? Okay? We will be using this at the game to make up for the Mustang fans that could not be there. This will show the support of them, and we can show our support as well. You can have this too. You just find me, and I can send it to your phone. I love you guys. Now, <laughs> man, this game's easy. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> you broke it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, that's just too easy. How'd those guys miss all those shots?
over the last few months. It's been very special for me. What's one of this and for all the small schools who never had a chance to get here? I want to win for my dad. Let's win for Coach, who got us here. 